Let's practice solving a density problem using the guess method. 250 milliliters of a liquid has a density of 1.5 grams per milliliter. What is the mass of the liquid? What I'd like you to do now is to pause the video, try solving the problem on your own, and then when you're done, unpause the video to check your answers. Okay, we're going to solve this problem like we do all using the guess method. We're going to write down the given. In this case, we're given 250 milliliters. We need to remember that milliliters is a measurement of volume. So we have a volume of 250 milliliters. We're also given a density of 1.5 grams per milliliter. Density of 1.5 grams per milliliter. We're asked to find the mass. So that gives us our unknown. Okay. We're now going to choose the proper equation. And if you remember, there's an easy way to remember the equation for density. If we drew a heart, we would remember that's the same as mass. The heart remembers helps us to remember mass over volume. So our formula is density is equal to mass over volume. See the broken up part? Now we're going to do substitution. So if density equals mass divided by volume. What was our density? From our given, our density is 1.5. So we know we have 1.5 grams per milliliter equals our mass is unknown and our volume is 250 milliliters 250 milliliters now to solve this problem we're going to use cross multiplication again so we're going to cross multiply meters and milliliters and these factors right here. So meters times milliliters. And I know it seems crazy to not see any numbers, but we can really imagine there's one milliliter or one meter. But if you just follow the process, it works. Fifteen point or one point five grams and two hundred and fifty milliliters. Okay. Now, if we want to get mass alone, because mass is what we're looking for, then what do we have to do? We have to divide this side by milliliters to get it alone. Whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. So if we do that, we can get mass alone. These are going to cancel out because they're on the top and the bottom. Over here, this milliliters and this milliliters will cancel out. So now we're to the final step, which is to solve. So we're left with mass is equal to 1.5 grams times 250. All the other units have been crossed out. We'll grab our calculator. 1 point five times two fifty equals three hundred and seventy five so our mass is equal to three hundred and seventy five and the only unit that we have left is grams so our answer is going to be grams now let's give ourselves a sanity check it asked us to find the mass of the liquid. Grams is a unit of mass, so we solved the problem correctly.